Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on Preserve System Journals. So we talked about the journal uh, in the last video, and that was essentially Journal CTL. Journal CTL. And so that keeps a log. So when you reboot your system, it keeps a log. Um, so by default, this it, the uh, the log file does not persist um, after a reboot because it just writes to a, um, a directory that's not persistent. So you need to make some uh, a very very small change uh, to the system to uh, enable the uh, the to preservation of the logs. So what you need to do is literally just make the IR var log in journal. By making that DIR, you're literally saying to the journal write uh, to the log, add the log to this directory, and then essentially because it's a it's a disk based uh, location, then obviously it's going to keep it uh, persistently. Only issue with that is by default this can use up to 10% of your disk space, as I mentioned previous. So one of the things to do is you need to edit the uh, system, the journal, the conf. And as with last video, we set the system max use to 50 meg here. So we can set it to anything we want, perhaps 100 in this case, and just do a right quit. And then finally, all we need to do is system ctl restart system d journal d. Okay, and then that is literally persistent. It's that's literally all we need to do. I don't think we're about to see anything immediately and uh, now, but. Yeah, as soon as uh, as soon as we reboot now, we can we should be able to go back in time with the the logs now, which is great. That is pretty much it. That covers that one point um, in the red hat list. So I'm just going point by point in the list of requirements for the exam. So this is just one of the requirements, and it just happens to be a nice short one. Yeah. Well, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like uh, my video if you don't mind, uh, if you enjoyed it. Uh, click sub subscribe uh, to k keep abreast of any other um, videos I, I create. And thanks again for watching. Uh, any any questions, place them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.